There is a new diaper on the market. The name Comfy Cubs is a bit unusual. Cubs I have never heard. The word does not seem to exist in the dictionary, so it is probably a proper name. It came from the manufacturer Lil Comforts, which probably hardly any of you know. It was founded by an ABDL model from the USA. His pictures are apparently no longer online. Either he deleted them himself or on Instagram it may have been Facebook, Meta. Anyway, he started the company at the end of 2019 and has been on the market since, but only with reusable cloth diapers and adult baby products like pacifiers, bodysuits or bibs. So it's more of a niche within the ABDL. But Lil Comforts now wants to get out of the pure adult baby area and has launched the Comfy Cubs, the first disposable diaper, which you can see in the picture. The diaper is very fresh and only available for a few days. It is closed by Velcro, as you can already see well on the close-up. The Velcro area is also colorfully printed. Seen from the front, buttons are printed on the top left and right. Below is a meadow with flowers, which are playfully kept and have the outline of a teddy bear as a head. The outer material is made of textile-like material, so no plastic film, as is common with most ABDL diapers. On the back, the diaper is more printed with three teddy bears, which are also filled with color, so not just the outlines. In addition, you can see the meadow below, above still two stars. Above the manufacturer's logo, it has a blue striped edge as the upper finish. Three sizes are offered, S, M and XL. The measurements are in inches. 28 inches for size M is about 71 centimeters, 40 inches is about 102 centimeters. This is a common range, so the diaper should fit you if you are fine with M and several others as well. Six and a half liters of suction power is stated in the description. Whether and according to which standard this was determined is not stated. One package contains 10 pieces, and they are sold in the manufacturer's store for 43.95 euros per package. This brings us to about 4.40 euros per piece. As far as I know, this is the first diaper with a cotton surface that cracks the 4 euro mark. With the Little Kings, you paid 3.95 per piece. In addition, there are shipping costs, from 100 US dollars value of goods, shipping within the US is free. To foreign countries such as the EU is also shipped. As I understand the help page, you have to pay the shipping yourself in any case outside the US. In addition, import fees such as customs may be added, so depending on where you live, this diaper can be very expensive. For a delivery to the EU, you would certainly exceed the 5 euro limit per diaper. Even if we leave that out, well over 4 euros for a diaper is too much in my view. There will be no practical test from me at these prices. I already don't buy Peak Abu anymore after there was a massive price increase from the manufacturer. Although the motifs of the comfy cubs look nice and I am open to tests of diapers with textile-like surface, but for this they must be in an affordable range, as with the diapers with foil. Therefore, I will first wait and see if dealers from the EU import this diaper and at what price. Should they be significantly cheaper to have there, I order a pack and will make a complete practical test, to which then a video appears on my channel. Until then, I searched the web and found a member in an English forum who bought the diaper and has already tried it. He has written quite a detailed article about his experiences. I will summarize the most important things from my point of view, which are in it, so that you get a better impression of the diaper. He tried the size M and praises the high-quality workmanship, which is supposed to be on the level of Little Kings and Alpha Gators. A small note from me, the Little Kings is probably by far the best-known and most successful diaper with a textile-like surface, if you do not know it yet. However, it is also one of the most expensive. Back to the review, the Comfy Cubs is described as very soft, both outside and inside, except for the adhesive surface. The colors are said to be less vibrant and contrasty than the website pictures. Criticize the length, it is said to be shorter than other ABDL diapers in the size. While it still fits, it feels borderline small. Especially since the manufacturer specifies 28 to 40 inches and the person already feels at 36 inches that the diaper should be a little longer. He has observed the same thing with Abu. He sees the problem as being between two sizes. M is a bit too tight for him, but L is again too big. This explains why I have not noticed this with Abu diapers before. I'm not in the upper range of M, but in the middle or even the bottom, depending on the measurement. Other diapers like Megamax fit him better because of the larger cut. So this is a problem that only affects the part of you who are close between sizes. 
He has a different opinion about the price than I do, the high price doesn't bother him, and he justifies it with the supply chains that have been disrupted by the crises of the last few years and their small market. I can indeed understand that. A poll on my channel showed that only a very small minority likes diapers with textile-like outer material. Still, the extra cost is extreme and I personally am not willing to pay it. Especially since slowly also foil diapers become significantly more expensive, where this argument does not apply. Of course, you can see it differently, some people are also willing to spend a lot of money on a Porsche, for example. What is your opinion about this diaper? Would you buy it? What do you think about the price? I'm also interested in what you think of this format. Would you like more videos around new diapers that have recently been released or will be released in the future? Feel free to drop me a line in the comments. If you're interested in diapers, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. The subscription is free and you won't miss any new videos from me.